And for the first time in 20 years, the state's social studies curriculum is being updated and it's drawing criticism from both lawmakers and parents. News 13's Stephanie Chavez is live at Washington Middle School with details. From the very beginning, one of the biggest concerns about this curriculum has been critical race theory. I want to be really clear um, about uh, one thing. The standards do not have any critical race theory, no critical race theory in standards, and um, they are not taught in the K-12 setting. In September, the Republican Party of New Mexico told News 13 the new proposal, specifically CRT, would teach students that our country is bad. But Dr. Gwen Perea Warneman said today that critical race theory is not included in the new standards, but historical accuracy is, saying the two are very different but can oftentimes be confused. The PED says the last time the social studies standards were overhauled was in 2001, before major world events like 9 11, the Great Recession, and the Afghan War. And it's the department's duty to provide students with knowledge of known facts. Also, right now, social studies is taught under four main pillars, civics, economics, geography, and history. The state wants to add ethnic, cultural, and identity studies. They show and demonstrate the variety, the, the dis, um, diversity of who we are as New Mexican people, as New Mexican students. And it's um, imperative that students see themselves in the curriculum. State Republicans say those changes would take history and make it political. The PED is still accepting public comment until Friday, and then they'll host a public hearing over Zoom the same day from 1 to 5. We have all of the information on how to submit public comment and on that meeting on our website, always on krqe.com. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Stephanie. Now, once public comment is complete, the PED will edit the social studies draft accordingly. The new standards will then be implemented in the fall of 2023.